What is up guys and welcome of course to another episode of who was really better and this time we're gonna tackle of course the bulky beefy monsters that are Conkelder versus Buswo. Now Conkelder has actually been a part of the who was really better passing generation 6 versus Machamp which it barely cuts. Actually one of my first episodes I believe it was episode 3 really was an interesting episode and to get a record with a good friend of mine of Ashen Akai or Eric and yeah I think both of those Pokemon changed significantly for generation 6 to 7, however it's been very clear of course that Conkelder actually kept being that slightly better and got in that edge of a Machamp, so it's really up to the other new Pokemon introduced here in the boss world to see if it can compare to the Ultra Beast, and quite frankly I would say so. They are both actually in the UUBL for the very same reason, that is that they are extremely bulky, extremely powerful, have been able to been lowered to the underused area but has been deemed too powerful yet in OU they do fall short and it has a lot to do with the really really high tier of psychic types and fear types in that individual tier which has been holding these Pokemon back quite frankly these two are really really matchup dependent if they're win winning their matchup that is if they're not way to it they are most likely than not able to waver themselves around and win but dude like I said here Pokemon such as the Lottie Twins and Mega Medicham, they really, really are held back. Tabakoku, Fini, and of course, uh, Lele are also Pokemon that really, really aren't caring too much about these two. And well, that's why they are UUBL. Definitely too powerful for UU, yet it falls short in very, very, I would say, common matchup in OU. However, in leagues, they are. They're playing the same ball game. They are value drafted for the same reason. So we're gonna, of course, as always, go over their overarching theme in move pool, stats, and ability to see which one of these two are really better. And we're gonna start with, of course, the one introduced first in Conkelder. At first glance, what really stands out with Conkelder is actually its typing. It's a soul finding type. There really aren't that many, if any, actually in the high tiers, and it's for a very good reason. It is a typing that, while fairly balanced, are weak to a few common things, and these common things, as I said before, are holding this Pokemon back. If anything, a Soul Fine type means that you're resistant to Bug, Dark, and Rock. So no weakness to Stealth Rock, which is always a good thing, that means you can switch in and out fairly well, actually. And the weakness though, Fairy, Flying, and Psychic, yeah, mm, really aren't that, that good. Um, first and foremost, as I said before, Psychic and Fairy are an issue and they're always going to be and it is combined actually with its stat distribution. Its stat distribution I would say is very fair. Uh, it definitely is aimed at being a certain way of usage. 105 in HP, yeah that's, that's high. That's a lot of bulk, natural bulk. 140 in attack means that this Pokemon don't necessarily need investment. It will always hit hard. Uh, 95 in defense is, I would say, decent with that 105, it's definitely up there. Special attack at 55, yeah, you won't never use any special attack with this Pokemon. 65 in special defense was awful, still is awful. The thing that makes this interesting is because with Assault Vest, this Pokemon can be significantly bulky, and this Pokemon tend to be Assault Vested, and we will cover that reason for more later when it comes to its move pool. But overall, 105 plus 65, yeah, that goes around for average bulk at best and 45 in its speed, yeah, it's very clear that this Pokemon is forced to take a hit before retaliating. And uh, it seems to be one of those Pokemon that don't aren't that damaged by that. This Pokemon can absolutely um, revenge kill, but it has option to pull that off significantly well. And together with this mixed bulk, it usually is able to shuck up um, a few hits before going down. Plus, as I said, this is a Pokemon that definitely can switch in on a lot of things. Its abilities, however, is one of those things that stands out for it also. All these free abilities are viable and it comes down to which one you prefer. Guts has been the one standing out the most this generation, mainly because of Flame Orb. And of course, one should really mention Burn, B, and Nerf really aren't doing that much damage towards you to get with boosting yourself with 50% of damage output. And already low that high 140 attack kind of enforces that this will, of course, hurt. Iron Fist, very viable option. Probably more so towards League, boosting your punching move by 20%, and since this Pokemon get almost all the punching moves, it's a very good move to have. However, there is really no reason in theory to use that over Sheer Force. The only missing out of two moves here with the Iron Fist ability with Sheer Force boosting your overall attack at a good life, or to be 
negated, the GF force makes sure you boost your self attack with additional effect by 30%, but you lose that initial effect. And it has a few minutes to pull that off. One that comes to mind is where it slides off the rock slide, for example. And of course, uh, elemental punches to get it with, well, the moves it gets. I'm trying to kind of show her a poison jab. I think it's one of those that really stands out. Uh, but overall, Skunkulder is a very, very, very complex Pokemon. It can do a lot of things. Is the reason it's been a very, very viable option up to UU and even OU, but slightly held back. But in the lead concept, this is a Pokemon that has the option to do what you need it to do. And since it's so bulky, it will always receive that uh, bulky tag Pokemon. It's up to opponent to figure out which way to break it, and it even doesn't help when you have the option to decide for yourself which way you're going to break your opposing Pokemon. And until you know that, you really can't switch it and out that easily like against Gunkelder, which makes it one of the more complex Pokemon of the Defiant types in this generation and meta. But the last thing to cover is Gunkelder's move pool, which is fairly broad. Um, it has one issue, and I'm going to mention that already, and that is that it lacks close combat, which would have helped it significantly. But that said, it also has a lot of options besides that, but it's a thing that I think holding this Pokemon back somewhat. So overall, Really strong move pull with the likes of Hammer Arm, which of course will lower your speed, but I wonder, wonder how the base power, which is great. Super power, which is your strongest physical stab move on the finest side, to get the likes of Focus Punch, Stone Edge, it learns naturally. When it comes to setup move, it gets bulk up, um, it's always going to be great. Then on the TM side, we have the likes of Earthquake, Brick Break, Vizard, which could be definitely great with the cut set. Um, Brutal Swing, Payback. Payback is one of those moves that I think is. Um, a bit of a forgotten gem actually, because always people are using knockoff with, with sea crystals. Payback could be the better move here, but it does also get, like I said here, uh, knockoff. <laughs> yeah, poison jab is there, grass not is there. Um, and then on the egg move side, there are a few things here that stand out. The one that really stands out here is Drain Punch. This is the move and the move alone that makes it just that assault that set that much more significant because it does mean that it has fair way of actually recovering itself by still using Assault Vest and get that extra bulk. If you can do enough damage towards a Conkelder, it will be able to recover against you. It also gets Mag Punch, which makes sure that it can win the matchup by not only recovering from you, but also wrap up before it can end it. So it's a combination that makes Conkelder a real threat, really. It also gets Low Kick, which definitely need, need an honorable mention here. Like I said previously, the Elemental Punches uh, and also get stop in tantrum, which could be interesting against the likes of ghost type. Um, and really, that's about it. It gets a few niche moves that I really never would really consider. And I definitely should say this: this Pokemon is not a C crystal Pokemon. Uh, we rarely talk about that how significant a good Pokemon can be with C crystals, but I definitely believe Conkeller is not built with that in mind, and that's as a bit of a forcement to it. But it means that its viability in this generation post point, of course the previous one was it Guts got that much better uh, so this book would tend to carry Flame more or still using Assault Vest Sea Crystal, while good don't really gain anything on Kent Elder which really have a really complete move set already with the likes of Brain Punch, Knock Off, Ice Punch usually or Mag Punch to get away bulk up it's a combination that really, there are very very few Pokemon that deal with this head on and if this Pokemon get a bull cap plus flavor behind it, well that's about a wrap isn't it? So Conkeldor is definitely one of the best final types yet to be introduced in Pokemon actually and really aren't that many that compare to it. Now we go into of course cover bus wall which might be the very best next thing towards it and so see that how him stack up against Conkeldor. So bus wall, hmm, well at first glance, like I'm a big fan of Buzzwall, I really wanna kind of get that out of the way. Really like this Pokemon League concept, and uh, I've always been a big fan of Heracross and Mega Heracross. And when Buzzwall came, I was thinking, you know, they figured it out. Well, almost. They almost figured it out. It still is a Pokemon that falls short. And while the bug fighting combination was, I think this is the second one that gets it. Heracross has been alone for the longest time. It's a double edge type combo, but you get a lot of good resistances. Bug and Fighting do complement one another really well, but you will also get, unfortunately, the same issues that Fighting type already has stacked on, actually, with what the bug is actually reproducing. So, first and foremost, resist the light of a bug, dark, finding, 
grass and ground, and yeah, they're a fairly good combination. Definitely resisting finding is one of the really strong benefits of this. Bug typing is a very good defensive typing, and um, bug is always weak to rocks, so having a fighting combination to all that means that you're neutral to rocks, and that's a really good thing. Uh, the weaknesses though, they are the same as um, fighting type is, you are weak to fairy, you are weak to psychic, you are weak to flying, but this time flying might very well kill you, because you're four times weak to it, and that's that's not great. And of course you get an additional issue in fire. But overall, I said that the benefit of having more resistance to common things, and even you know, resistant to a pivot in you know, the U-turn and whatnot, it's a very strong benefit. But one really has to keep playing with the mindset that one thing or another could have the hidden power of flying to knock you out. So always have that in mind while using Buzzfold. Because stat-wise, it's very close to Conkeller. It's almost as strong as Conkeller. Uh, 107 in HP means it has a slightly more bulk. 139 in attack is almost as good as 140. So that's one that really stands out there that just misses out. Uh, 139 in its defense. Mm -hmm. This is a bulky Pokemon. It's a very bulky Pokemon. People tend to sleep on that. Bossful is definitely a Pokemon you don't want to hit physically. It just isn't that likely to hit, do something actually. 53 in its special attack. Yeah, much like on Kilder. This is not a spec spawn. I think most people get that. And uh, its special defense is almost is just as bad, really. Basically, Kinkeller has better special defense than Buzzful 53. Mm. I mean, Assault Fest is an option towards Buzzful also, but don't believe the abilities will enforce that combination as well as Kinkeller does. The speed driver is 79. Mm -hmm, that's great. That means that Griselia could be outsped potentially. But quite frankly, what this means is that this Pokemon has a decent speed. It works as a wall breaker, it will never be a sweeper, it can't get a speed boost from its ability, the Beast Boost. Which of course boosts your highest stats by one when you knock out something. The design of Pokemon itself has unfortunately dedicated that the only thing you can boost is either your attack or defense. You don't, you can't have a nerfed um, nature like attack or defense to benefit from the speed. It's very unfortunate because I do believe Buzzkill would have been a great setup sweeper with that in mind. But yeah, it misses out on that and it's designed to miss out on that, which I think is so unfortunate. Like I said, Beast Boost is a very, very good ability, while I think it's one of the best abilities in the game. When, like I said before, when it comes to what Conkeldor has with Guts, Shafuls, and of course Iron Fist, there really has a lot of more options, and which makes that Pokemon more complex. Buzzwell is a straight up gunner with the Beast Boost, and while it is, like I said, one of the best abilities in the game, I definitely believe that only having one ability over three is a, a handicap in this environment. While I think Buzzwell has its status even in Ubers, I definitely say that Conkeldor has the better options ability. But Buzzful represents the better stat between these two. But as you guys know, a Pokemon is only as good as his move allows it to be, so it comes up to what can Buzzful do that Conkeldor cannot. One interesting fact here is that Buzzful and Conkeldor's move pool are close to mimicking one another. The both actually one that was introduced before two moves only had the lines of superpower, actually as his strongest hit. They both got dynamic punch and focus punch and hammer arm and counter, but really, really, is that helping? Possibly, but maybe not. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that it really took till the, the Ultra Sun and Moon to come out before um, we got the broader move pool on Buzzful and also made it comparable to it. Now, first and foremost, I'm really just going to cover what it does learn. It actually has, uh, gets Fell Stinger, which is great. Boost your attack by 3 if you knock out something. Could be dangerous. Uh, we have two elemental punches in Thunder Punch and Ice Punch. Don't get Fire Punch for obvious reason. It's a bug. It's a very, very rare thing to see in a bug Pokemon. We have setup in bulk up, we have Vital Throw, uh, we have Leech Slide which got boosted this generation. Leech Slide ensures, of course, that you recover you half your HP, much like Drain Punch work, which is great in so many aspects. We also have Swamp, which makes sure that the slower Pokemon that want to be able to stall you out won't be able to do so, and that's... well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, other than that, when it comes to the move pool it gets from the TMs, we have a Smackdown, we have Earthquake, uh, payback, which I said before, is actually a fairly viable option here. Stone Edge, Gyro Ball, Poison Jab. Um, and then we'll come to uh, the tutor move. Here is where things start to actually come together. Uh, we have the likes of Bug Bite, which is definitely not what I'm going to talk about. Uh, Iron Head, which is a more significantly better move towards fairy types. 
uh, we have a bounce with the sea crystal can be well quite devastating actually uh, and then we have what i think is the most important move here in drain punch uh, it basically like i said it does mimic quite a lot of what can gilder can do but it's just one of those things it can do the same thing and um, yeah it's great on it it really 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 is and i really have to mention one thing that I think stands out with bus wolf that can gilder lacks uh, which makes Congealer's set with Assault Fist that much better, but also means that Buzzpool has another option. Buzzpool has Roost, it has a way of recover itself, uh, with a bulk up combination together with Lies of Rain Punch and Ice Punch, which is a very strong combination on its own right. It, this Pokemon can be very, very, very dangerous, it gets a very dangerous place. Uh, Roost is something that makes it go, and with that high HP set of 107, yeah, it's a Pokemon that clearly needs that. I really wish Congealer got that option. But what this basically means is that Buzzwall, while being straight up a bulky Pokemon, much like on Gilder, it is speedier and it has recovery, which means it can potentially focus more on potentially setting up. While that's a great benefit and all, one really has to keep in mind, Gilder has priority in Mach Punch. This is something that Buzzwall significantly are lacking. And it also has Guts, which boosts its attack and make it immune to status. In theory, it definitely more towards burn. That's a Pokemon that can easily punish a Pokemon for being stallier. Taunt is a very really strong optional possible, but I think the benefit of Killer's abilities are standing out here, and it's whether or not those things stacked together against Buswell would win. Because I think Buswell has a stronger typing, and I think Buswell has a stronger move pool. I just think Killer's ability are that much more relevant. So if I'm boiling it down, what for me this dialogue comes down to is which Pokemon has the stronger overall ability to be something different than it initially was designed for. And uh, yeah, I, I really really think here that, like for me, these Pokemon are definitely, a, there's a tie for me in here. Because they're good at the same thing with Assault Vest, Conkeller stands out a little bit more here. Conkeller is better at soaking um, potential status and are stronger in that initial thought. And it has priority, so... We already there see a, a, a theming of Kangelder standing out quite a lot. What really is the nail in the coffin and the reason I'll give this victory to the other Pokemon actually in Buswell. Yeah, I went there. I already ruined it for you guys. But it is that Buswell has recovery. Like for a bulky Pokemon and being significantly hitting as hard as they are, one really has to consider that Kangelder, while hitting hard and able to recover, it can recover. Buswell will always will be able to recover. It has two ways to recover with both uh, Brain Punch and Leech Life. It is able to actually force out other matchups. Looking at the likes of Psychic types can definitely not come in on this Pokemon how easily as they want to. Leech Life can very well knock them out. And this is why Buswell is just a better Pokemon. It just is overall designed better than Conkildur. All this cover though, I really, really want to force that far that I prefer Buswell. I think Kongelder are close, if not just as good as Buswell. I I really, really feel that this matchup is somewhat unfair because Kongelder was clearly designed a lot better than Machamba was supposed to be the upgrade here. Buswell was supposed to be the upgrade to potentially Kongelder, but did fall short. And I think the abilities really are complementing Kongelder, and I think Beast Boost are holding Buswell back actually. Um, so overall, I could, like I said, I would could see the both side of the argument and cover with that but possible speed to get it with a broader move pool and recovery are in my honest opinion and even taunt uh, are helping this pokemon so much more congeller is a straight up one-dimensional pokemon with great ability to to represent and of course complement it possible is not as one-dimensional but has few options ability wise how it should function but it does its job to the best it's basically one of the best pokemon to be able to taunt or to recover and it is so goddamn bulky while it's easy to knock out in the right environment it is just if it isn't the right environment it isn't the right matchup Buswell is very unlikely to lose that matchup because it just won't go down and i love that about that i think it's one of the best people to do this generation and that is why it wins this matchup so with that guys thank you for watching as always and make sure to watch our next episode which comes out next sunday where we're gonna look at ads